Hand sanitizer, is it dangerous? We're gonna answer that question and a little bit more on today's video. My name is Dr. Jeff Langmaid, founder of the Evidence Space Chiropractor, and the FDA recently came out with a statement recalling right off the shelves, do not use it, at least nine different brands of hand sanitizer. And all of that comes down to a single word, and that is methanol. Methanol is a toxic substance. It is not something you want to ingest. It's not something that you want transmitted through your skin. And some of these different hand sanitizers that the FDA recently pulled had over 80% of the sanitizer was methanol. Now, thankfully, there are thousands of hand sanitizers on the marketplace, and only a handful, a dozen, have gotten pulled off the shelves. I'm going to leave that list down below, or please check the FDA site. But the reason is because methanol is a toxic substance. If it's ingested, if it's transmitted through the skin, it can result in a whole bunch of nasty stuff, headaches, diarrhea, nausea. It, it, it can give you the works. And ultimately, if you have those hand sanitizers listed on the FDA website or listed below that have been pulled off the shelves, they're actually recommending it's so toxic that you do not put it in your normal garbage or flush it down the drain, but that you actually get it to a hazardous waste facility so they can take care of it safely and it doesn't get into anybody else's drinking water or anything to that effect. Methanol is, is, is kind of like a wood glue. This is something you definitely do not want in your system. And right now, hand sanitizer is commanding like gold-like prices. If you tried to purchase this in a local store or on Amazon, You've seen all of the craziness around hand sanitizer because of its convenience, right? There's not every moment of the day that you'll have the opportunity to wash your hands for over 20 seconds, soap and water, dry them off. A lot of times we're on the go. If you're getting back out there, maybe your state has begun to open back up and you're on the go in between places, between getting home. If you pick up something at a store, hand sanitizer is super convenient to have on you. It's a quick way to kind of get rid of germs, so to speak, and make sure that you are disinfected and as clean as possible. But please remember that it is a plan B. Anytime you're using hand sanitizer, it is not going to be as effective as ultimately washing your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds, drying them off. Hand sanitizer, great plan B, not great to use as a plan A, and definitely check your bottles. If you have any of these sanitizers that the FDA has pulled off the market, you're definitely going to want to get rid of them and stop using them immediately. Methanol is not something that you need to have transmitted through your skin into your body. It's definitely something you need to ingest because it can result in an array of health challenges that really, really can be detrimental. So keep an eye out for those FDA lists. Wash your hands instead of using the hand sanitizer when you have the opportunity to do so. Stay safe out there. And if you have any questions about hand sanitizer or washing your hands, drop them in the comments down below. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel where we break down health news, topics, everything that you need to know to live a happy and healthy life. Make it a great day. My name is Dr. Jeff Langmaid. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.